Hello and welcome to the Future Fuel Cafe. In this video, I want to be showing you a newly released AI music generator that has just been released in beta. It is absolutely insane. It creates not only a full song, and when I do say a full song, I mean in the realm of like three minutes plus, generates incredible lyrics and it gives you such a wide range of different types of genres of music you can choose from. And this AI music generator is called Udio and it's in a beta test phase right now. So what that normally means is I will say it's free to use at this current point of me filming, but you know, as AI tech team uh, seems to go these days, it will eventually be released as a sort of financial plan where you pay a monthly fee to use it and it will go on from there. But living in the present moment right now, it's free. So you will see here on my laptop, this is the home screen and this is right here, as you can see, Udio and it's in the beta phase. And you can see I'm already signed in, but before, like usual, you'll sign in with either your Discord account, a Twitter account, or for me, I use my Google account and this is your homepage. So on the side here, you'll see it says my creations like songs and uh, up here you can uh, see this is where you put in your prompt to effectively generate the song. And we'll look at that in a minute. But first off, I just want to show you the homepage itself. So when you come here, you can see these are all different songs generated by AI. And these are the staff picks. These below are the trending ones. And I mean, what should we even look at? I mean, actually this one I, <laughs> I uploaded to X early and I really liked it because it's country and I like country. So, you know, let's go with this first off. Press play. Ooh. And just to say, when you hear these lyrics, these are li literally AI created lyrics. There's nothing uh, real about this is all AI, so I'm not going to listen to a whole three-minute song or we'll skip through it so you can hear it, but then you'll get the idea. And then if we go back to the page, we can have a look at another one. In fact, this one's called Udio, Let the Groove Be Your Guide. Let's have a listen to that. Disco Funk. So, no idea what this is. Hit it. I'm, I'm genuinely lost for words. <laughs> and up here, you can see as well underneath, so there's the prompt. So you can see all of that, I won't read it all, but you can pause it and read it. And then down here, these are the types of instruments or feelings or melodies that are in the song as well, that the AI is used to generate it. So again, it's yeah, pretty insane. So what I want to show you quickly, I'm going to show you how to create your own song, but I'm also going to show you a song that I've already created and you'll get the idea and then we'll go create our own one after. So we'll go to my creations quickly and down here you will see there's two songs. There's, uh, there's actually four together. These first two, 33 seconds and 33 seconds, are the first song that I created. And whenever you create a song, it gives you two different versions automatically, as far as I can tell. And then the two top ones that are over a minute, they are the ones that I extended. So we're going to look at the Tropic on the Doe first. And I think I preferred this one. And the point of this one as well, you're seeing the prompt, a song about a pineapple being on pizza. And then I went hip hop, electro and reggaeton. And I like pineapple on pizza. I think it tastes amazing. I know there'll be a lot of people that don't like that, but I just say, I can't help you have bad taste. Boom, roasted. But anyway, if we press play on this quickly. All my pizza lovers go around the slice. Tropical topping, yeah, we rolling nice. Mixed in the oven, yeah, it's paradise. Hawaiian twist, and now they feel the. So you get the idea again. This is the extended version of this song now. And basically, what I did was so A, I extended it. But B, what I'm, you're actually able to do, I'll give a little bit of a hint here, you can add your own lyrics, right? So let me show you this. Right here where it says chorus, everything from chorus and below is what I added myself. And we're gonna do this in the video example when we create our own song after. But for here, you will see it says, pineapple on pizza is the best, it repeats itself twice. If you don't agree, then you can join the rest because pineapple on pizza is the best. And I was really happy with that because it took me about 30 seconds to a minute to make that rhyme up. Not that I'm any lyrical genius, but uh, credit where credit's due, I liked it. <laughs> so anyway, we'll go to about halfway in the song so you can hear it quickly, just with the difference. Pineapple, 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 
And then if we just scroll forward. Pineapple on pizza is the best. If you don't agree, then you can join the rest. Be pineapple on pizza is the best. And that is absolutely incredible. I'm just gonna say, hands down, incredible. It's not perfect, you may hear it, uh, you may have heard it where it said there because pineapple on pizza is the best, but it didn't actually say it, it sort of just joined because I'm pineapple together. But you know what? I will let it off because it's so damn good. Moving on to the next part now, we're gonna make our own song. So if we go back to discover and then we're gonna click up here and you can see straight away, it just gives you an automatic suggestion of saying a song about a failed superhero. Uh, let's go a song about, yeah, the future fuel cafe being amazing. Yeah, we'll just put that and you know, and then we will go for auto-generated and we are gonna go for electronic. Hmm, a little bit of funk and a little bit of, let's go dance, why not? Anything else? Actually, I'm gonna add in reggaeton again because I liked what it did with that the last time. And then that's it. And now we're gonna go over here and we're gonna press create. And then you can see here, it's uh, creating the song and it's creating the mixes here. So that will take probably a few minutes depending on the speed of your internet and how busy the actual website is to create. But let's wait. Okay, in video time, you're now gonna see the generated AI songs. But just to say, this has took off of camera nearly half an hour, 24 minutes to generate these songs. So now without uh, further ado because we've waited so long let's jump into my laptop and i will show you the two songs so you can see here there's the prompt that i put in originally and then these are the types of songs that they are the genre r b dance electronic funk disco and reggaeton and these are the lyrics that it's come up with here so without further ado let's press play and see what it sounds like that future fuel come on let's go let's go, go! I have to say that's pretty impressive. <laughs> that is really pretty impressive. Now, if we click on this one, I think it's actually put this in Spanish. So there you go. I have no idea properly what that says. I didn't ask for it in Spanish, but it is Dunix. It's Latin reggaeton. So there's that one. Let's see what it sounds like. That, that, okay, I've got to say, I don't understand all of that, but that's pretty, that's pretty impressive. We're gonna have a look at the Neon Buzz one because it's in English. And what I'm gonna do here is, we're gonna go to up here where it says extend, press that, and then you'll see it opens up the uh, window again. And this is where we get a little bit more flexibility. So if we then wanted to add more types of uh, genres of songs, music types, all of that sort of stuff we can. I'm not going to because A, length of time, B, it will take too long to probably do anyway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to custom and where it says here on top, you're gonna add an outro and a, a, a section after the end of the initial song before or uh, an actual intro as such for the whole song as a whole. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna write a custom uh, lyrics. So we can press up here, we can put in chorus and then that. Then what should I go for? The place to be is at the Future Fuel Cafe. And then we can just, I don't know, copy that bit. I'm really not good at this. The Future Fuel Cafe. The Future Fuel Cafe, copy the whole thing again. <laughs> That's really not original, I will admit, but um, we'll roll with it, press extend, and then see what it does. And then again now, you can see amazing music is seconds away, though it took 24 minutes to generate the last one, so 
Hopefully it doesn't take that long again because I'll have an afro and a full on beard by the time it's done. Okay, so the songs have finished being extended using the AI magic. That took 18 minutes instead of 24. So we'll start, well, a few minutes faster either way. So we have now got, and you'll see what it does here. See, these are the two names of the songs here. Neon, again, Vibra Cafe and Neon Buzz. And it actually changes the name of the song. So I don't know if that's like a, a glitch or something just because beta is actually meant to happen. But it would actually be nice if it kept the song name original as it then, you know, changed it and updated it because it's, yeah, just, yeah, I don't know, something they can fix. And we have Electro Fuel Rendezvous and now Neon Rendezvous. So let's listen to each of them and see as it goes. And you can see on the bottom here, this is where it has the chorus and then the words that I threw in. So we can press play and I'll probably just skip through to the bit where it adds the chorus in to save some time. Have future fuel, come on, let's go, let's go. Have future fuel, come on, let's go, let's go. Have future fuel, come on, let's go, let's go. For let's say, off it, go. I don't know if that's actually got my lyrics properly, but um, it's done something, that's for sure, and it doesn't sound too bad. Um, a little bit, mm, but I'm still impressed. Overall, I have to say I'm still impressed. And now we're gonna check Neon Rendezvous. The place to be is at the Future Fuel Cafe. A Future Fuel Cafe. A Future Fuel Cafe. Of the place to be is at the Future Fuel Cafe. Last future, fuel future, let's go. Let's go. Woo! Please sit down to the uncle side. Please sit down to the uncle side. That one was much better, at least I said the lyrics. And uh, it had some weird little, I don't know if it's meant to be backing vocals or whatever. But uh, yeah, overall, really, really interesting. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I really quite enjoyed that, yeah. <laughs> and it was actually former employees of Google DeepMind who have left and then gone and set this up now. And they've basically created it as a platform for people who aren't really, you know, into music as such as being professionals, but like to play around with it, have fun with it. So probably someone like myself, I mean, I don't spend a lot of time, you know, playing around with music. Most of my music is from Artlist directly. I just download the song and use it in the videos as and when. But I think something like this has a massive use case scenario. And actually on top of that, they are working with artists such as Will I Am as well to make it more for professional musicians. Personally, I don't see how this would benefit them as of yet. Again, I'm not a professional musician, never have been, never will be in my life, but trying to approach the situation logically, I see this as creating more competition in the sense that it's gone, well, it's creative. You can just put in a prompt. You've just seen I've created two songs from a single prompt and that, that's the whole thing. It creates the beat, the melody, the type of song that it is, the whole lyrics. It actually adds the voice in as well. You can change how the voice sounds. It even speaks, sings in Spanish, which I didn't even know. So you can just see there's that much more competition and pressure coming into the industry. And already in the music industry, there is a lot of pressure. There isn't a lot of people really making money these days from music themselves. So, you know, I just don't see it from that element how it's gonna help them, but maybe I'm missing something. So you let me know. Also as well, this doesn't allow you to use lyrics that are already uh, copyrighted, already basically written by other artists and released, otherwise that would be a copyright issue. So it actually doesn't allow you to do that and obviously for obvious reasons I fully agree with that and you should never be you should never be allowed to do that so it, it protects them from that angle but what it also does it does allow you as far as i know any of the music that you do create using this platform it is uniquely generated then you are able to use that in any of your videos as far as i know at the moment and i guess just to finalize building on top of what i just said about this being good and incredible software but also being you know, extra competition for musicians, approaching that from a logical sort of approach. I think this is the equivalent of what NVIDIA AI did for video creative, for video creation and video creators actually, when it came out last year. And I've obviously made a few videos about that if you go through my uh, past videos. And what that did was it allowed you to create a whole video, you know, the narrator, the music, 
It found all the images for you and the overall topic and the sort of length of the video as a whole. So basically the whole package was created for you from one single prompt. So I see this as the same for that. How that is gonna affect the industry, I still think it's to be seen, but there's a massive, you know, there's a massive amount of potential of what it can do and what it will do. The same of what, again, NVIDIA AI has already done and what this will do. So I think it's incredible software. I think it's something that needs to be, uh, we need to be aware of, especially if you're a musician. And also, I, I just think it's, you know, again, something that has just come out of the blue as far as I know, because I haven't looked at any AI music generation sort of tools. I've been aware of it. It's been on my list to make videos about it, but this is the first time I've even looked at it. And again, as a user, I think it is incredible. And would I use something like this? I don't really know personally because I prefer at least using something like Artlist where when I pay my monthly or uh, my yearly subscription to that, the money goes towards them. You know, they are getting something. So other than that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video and you found it interesting. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.